Hello everyone, in this video I explain parallel resistors experiment number 4. How to determine the equivalent resistance of three resistors connected in parallel. Let us restart. The apparatus that we need, power supply, connecting wires, voltmeter, four ammeters, resistors, we know the value of each one. 5 ohm resistor, 10 ohm resistor, and 4 ohm resistor, and then switch. First, we start to connect the circuit, as shown in that diagram. So, we connect them in parallel. How to connect? Start step by step. So, first, we start with the wire. From the positive power supply to the switch from the switch to the emitter. Tight with the positive. And then from the emitter, the negative part of the emitter. Now this is the emitter. So we take this wire and we connect the resistors in order. R1, R2, R3. So this is R1 and this is R2 and this is R3 in order. So, tighten it. And a third one. Now, connect them all together because they are parallel. So, we put now they are connected together with the wire from a meter. We connect each resistor with a meter. This one. This is one, the first one. So we check. Is it okay? No. I connect the emitters in order because this will be A1, A2, A3 and this is R1, R2, R3 and then we take another connection from the emitter this is the connection from each one we connect them together because they are in uh, parallel. So now we connect them together. And then we take one wire, okay, one wire here, to the power supply. So one for each one to the power supply. I take care of the connection between the wires, keep this away. Now we connect this one here to the negative power supply. This one and check. So this one working. Okay. And this one working with the negative. So that just we switch the wires. So switch off and just exchange the wires. So switch on. Yes, it moved in positive direction. So now it is uh, perfect. The last thing we connected the voltmeter to uh, the power supply to get three voltage. So switch off and then we connected the voltmeter. Positive, positive, positive. Positive, right? Finally. First we adjust 
the power supplied to 3 volt exactly. Now it's 3 volt switch. Now the circuit is perfect, everything is connected. And now what we do is switch off. We start to write the readings. So one, R2, R3. R1, it's 10 ohms. R2, it's 5 ohms. R3, it's 4 ohms. So this is in order, R1, R2, R3. Now, switch on and we take the measurement. Switch on and take the measurement. Main current here, it is 0.511, so 0.51. So I, it is 0.51, so 0.51 ampere. So this is the current in the circuit, the main current, I1, R1. Now we switch on and take the reading of A1. A1 here, it is 4.5 dashes. I1, 0 0.09 ampere. Now, switch on and take the reading of A2. Nine dashes, 9.1 dashes. 9.1 dashes. I2 is 0 0.18. Now, switch on and take the reading of A3. A3, it is 1.5 dash after 0 0.2. 1.5 dash. I3, it is 0 0.23. Now we finish the reading of R1, R2, R3, and I1, I2, I3, and also the main current. Now we calculate this, R equals V over I. Calculation, this is from the reading. V over I, V is 3 volt, and the main current, it was, 0.51, 3 divided by 0.51 equals 5.88 ohms. Now we said calculate the equivalent resistance R total. So how to do this? Because we are in parallel, so we say 1 over R total equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So it's 1 over 10 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 4. We calculate this bathing calculate. 11 over 20. Remember, this is 1 over R total. So flip both sides. So flip this and flip this to get R total. So R total equals 20 over 11. So 10 is 1.8. So this is R total. It's 1.8. Now, Compare your calculated value of R in the table to the equivalent resistance R total. Now, our calculated value of R is 5.88. So, 5.88 divided by 1.8 is 3.2. value, so our calculated value is 3.2 more than the equivalent resistance R2. How does the, does the current in the branches of, the, of a parallel circuit related to the total current in the circuit? The total current, it was 0 0.51. Now we add them, I1 plus I2 plus I3. So I plus I2 plus I3 equals 0 0.5. And the I total also is 0 0.51. So approximately the same. So how does the current in the branches of the parallel circuit to the, relate, to the total, it is the same. So we know that I1 plus I2 plus I3, it is approximately the same I total, the total current. So the total current equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. Now, the rest of the question in this experiment is that, what are the sources of error in this experiment? The sources of error are, many wires we use it, so each wire has the resistance. So not only the resistance of R1, R2, R2, but also we have mini wires. So this is one source of error. We have mini wires. Each wire has own resistance, so must be added to the resistance. So not only R1, R2, R2, but R3, but also the resistance of the whole wires. Also here, losing connection. This is one error. Also here, uh, the reading may be the reading parallax error of reading of a meter in that one. 
So that are the sources of error. What about, what about the conclusion of this experiment? Why we do this experiment? To, uh, to, det to determine the equivalent resistance of three resistors in parallel. We performed this experiment, but we found that our calculated value of resistance of the three resistors in parallel is 3.2 more than the equivalent resistance. Why not the same? Why this difference, this big difference? Because we use many, many uh, uh, wires. So we have also, also the wires have uh, resistance. So not only three resistors, resistors but also the resistors, the resistance of the, the, the wires in the experiment, losing connection also give us this big difference between the equivalent resistance and the total resistance. But in this experiment, we verify exactly that the main current I equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. Thank you.